Hey guys, what's happening? So, um, if you watched my previous video, I did a uh, unboxing tour, like a offer up score, fifty dollar box of CB stuff, and this is actually one of the CBs that was in them. It's a pretty a President Teddy R. So I guess you know President makes pretty good radios. Um, I'll fire this up real fast, but um, I mean I, you could see some of this in the other video, but um, yeah, this thing supposedly has some sort of SSB mod. And I actually have fired it up, and it does actually work. It's kind of weird, but I'll go through it, and so if any of you guys CB experts can let me know more about this, but I couldn't find any documentation anywhere. Um, so, yeah, it does actually work, but I don't know why. So, <laughs> I'll go through how. I'll show you how it's hooked up. Um, so it's a Taiwan made, and I noticed that the, the, the size are uh, M5 metric screws. So, I'm doing that because right now I'm creating, I'm redoing my radio air here and printed out some mounts. I'll put all this to my thing wrist page. You know, it's gonna have knobs on it. Um, you know, just getting all my radios organized over there. Got a Palomar SWR meter coming in, big one. Uh, but I wanted to get this going. Um, I'll fire it up and I'll show you what's what's up with it. Um, but it does actually transmit and receive and it's actually extremely well tuned. Like compared to like this other one I bought, this Cobra, I mean this is pretty much like, like a brand new Cobra 29 Classic. I mean I picked it up and offer up for $10. But it looked like it was brand new, it was just missing the power cord. Um, but it actually works, transmit receives, I've been transmitting and receiving all day long on it, so. But yeah, I'd like to get this one going, so SSB. Um, but yeah, some of the, the knobs feel pretty, pretty stiff. So I'm gonna get use some of my deox on that. And then, what else about this? Oh yeah, the meter doesn't work. But let me fire it up real fast. All right, so I have it connected by bench power supply. Turn this on. Right now, I just have a little car antenna. So the dimmer, the lights don't work. This whole area doesn't work. So there it is. Let's see, SWR, nothing works. I have no boom at all. So I could even actually do a, uh, and actually it did come with the original present mic too, for zero movement. So, um, yeah, I'll go through all my, uh, my SDR and I'll show you that it's actually, it's, it's actually transmitting lower sideband. But it's weird though, it depends on what it depends on what channel you're on. So if you're in channel like 38, it goes in lower sideband. But if you go to any, any lower upper channels, when you activate the switches, it goes to upper sideband. I'll show you that, but it's, it's weird. So yeah, I am picking up a lot of stuff right now. I just this antenna sucks, so I can't pick up anything. Um, but yeah, I think it does work. All switches work except for, like I said, the that doesn't work. Nice blanker. PACB, um, Delta Tune. All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna open this up and I'll show you the insides. All right. So, uh, so because it has these weird side switches, you have to. I think you have to take the this cover off first. And then, yeah, if you guys are CB experts, uh, let me know what these mods are. Like I said, I couldn't find any information on it. Um. I also noticed these were kind of pounded in, so I'm about to pound those back, like the speaker grill. Um, Alright, so here it is, closer look. So it's a Uniden, I mean it has a Uniden IC, and all the capacitors made, are made by Uniden too. So, so it looks like those are the original capacitors, and I, I'm, I'm thinking these are it's from the 80s, or probably 70s or 80s? Because it came in the box, and, that, and, and the linear amp that it came with, the Palomar, TX100, uh, that was definitely from the 70s. Um, so I'm just looking for any burn caps. Okay, I really don't have to clean that. I'm gonna clean the face of it, but the inside looks spotless. So uh, I'm not gonna even spray it down. There's no dust on it or nothing. So that's a good sign. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd like to replace the caps, but I don't know if I'm gonna put. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know, I might just convert this back to not being SSB, because it's kind of... I mean, it does work, but it's... i, I got to figure it out. Like, I can't figure out... 
See this little switch? I don't, I don't know what this little switch does. But I'll show you. I'll, I'll route it back and we can look and see where that goes. Let's see here. Okay. Um, so here's a close look at the bottom. We'll do that here so you can see what I'm talking about. So they wrap around and they they route into this knob switcher here. There's a little ribbon cable that goes into here. I hope you can really see that. So if you guys know or heard, ever heard of this mod, let me know down below. Um, so the green wires are the SSB. So it's connected between here and here. And but then I notice there's a cut trace right here. That trace has been cut. And I also see this red wire. Uh, I'm guessing this is the on and off switch. I'm gonna look at it closer again. But there's two black wires. So two green and a black goes back to the. It's like an on off switch. So it's this one right here. It's it's it's. So it seemed like the center position was a, a normal transmit. And then when you hit it, then it goes over like it's supposed to, like on the side bin. So, but I can't figure out what this one does. And let's see, let's route this one back. Yeah, okay. So the red and black one are going here and here. But then I notice that this doesn't look like a factory solder blob here. Yeah, I don't even know what any of this stuff is. So, all these extra little, like, uh, jumper wires, extra caps. I don't know if that's factory or not. And you have a resistor here that's in, like, a sleeve. Um, but I said, it looks like all the mods are done in here, though. So, yeah, the radio does work. And even, actually, what's funny is the modulation is, like, on this thing. It looks so much better than the regular, the uh, Cobra 29 over there. Um, all right, so, actually, I need to figure out what's up with the... It's a lot duster in the top, so I'm just going to do a quick spray down. And then it looks like the guy had, uh, at some point, it looks like somebody was messing with the with the needle in here. So let's see if I can get that to move again. So I'm guessing these are grounding wires. All right. Um, yeah, it's interesting to use red for grounding. Yeah, it's just it's all brown in the case. So I'm going to take those off. This dimmer switch feels really stiff, so my fingernails are a mess. <laughs> Working on my bronc earlier. Uh, let's try to find a way to get into there. Into the pot. Okay. It's gonna work it. And let's, oh yeah, I can already feel them getting better. All right, so I'm gonna let it soak. Here's so I got the oxygen all these switches here, or the potenti potentiometers. And then do that all here for these switches. I feel like someone will get in the bottom where the contacts are at. There. Okay, so I kind of lay bomb removed here. Um, so I know that actually works, but this, it's it partially works. Like when I move this, kind of can all see that maybe. Um, like I can kind of get it to move, but that's just for like fine adjustment, though you know. Um, whereas this thing, I feel like this thing, you can see somebody had pr been prying into it and trying to fix it. So I got to kind of go a little bit, take a look. So it was actually like the, uh, it's just the tension. So I need to get this thing like uh, dialed back in. So when it's off, it's all the way at the zero point. So, all right, so today's new day. I spent about three hours last night fixing this thing. And then I guess the, uh, a new one is like 15 bucks on eBay. Um, all right, so I've been doing a lot of research on this. I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out what these mods are, you know. And I guess this 858 uh, chip, which is the same one they... This board is exactly the same board they use in the uh, Cobra 29 LXR from the 70s, like late 70s. Uh, but I guess this Uniden uh, 858 PLL chip is really hackable. Like, there's tons of mods with this thing. So... Um, yeah, I even saw some diagrams online of similar actually like mods to this. So I'm trying to figure out trying to figure out the pinouts and see if these are the actual mods that other people have done. Um, yeah, I know you can you can do like frequ frequency expansion, so you can go above and below you know 40 channels. Um, 
but this seems like it has the SSB mod, and that's what the guy said, so I'm trying to figure out, look at the existing mods and see if they're pinned out the same, but I don't think this is factory. I don't know, there's a bunch of, I mean, there's tons of mods for this radio, so, I mean, like I said, this thing produces a lot of actually, a lot of, the tests I've done, this thing definitely produces more swing and more output than my typical, like my other one, my uh, my new uh, newer style Cobra 29 um, Classic Limited. All right, so if you guys are watching this video, let me know what you think of this one. So this is a, that's pin 19 right there, and there's just I'm looking for these mods online. I can't figure out. I'm even just trying to find a pin out what this thing does, but there's a cut trace there, and this is on pin 13. And it feeds a, a three. This feeds a, a three pull switch. This is these two are on and off switch, and that feeds 19. But it looks like it's bridged over. I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm still I'm still haven't given up on it yet. I've just you know I've already spent a lot of time trying to figure this out. So yeah, I'm not sure what this is right here. But this is actually what controls the uh, SSB thing that controls the frequency. So like what it's in the off position, it's just basically uh, you know normal standard channel, either on or off. It does the exact same thing. But I'll go through, but it, then it also changes depending on what channel I have it on. So it's really weird. So I'm gonna play with it on my uh, spectrum analyzer and see if I can figure out what exactly this thing's doing. All right, so I set it back together. Uh, most of the stuff's working, and you know I was thinking about it. You know I'm 49 years old, so you know, I was born in '75. So, um, I mean, most of the people that were actually doing these mods in the 70s to this chip are probably very old or dead right now. So, I mean, this is way before the internet, so getting the information about this chip and the mods is kind of all over the place. You know, this is way before the internet, so, yeah, because most likely these people were probably in their 20s or 30s when they're modding these radios, 40s maybe, older, so, I mean, these, you know, I mean, most of these people are probably dead by now. Um... All right, cool radio. Got all the deoxin in there. I mean, it seems like it's, it works a lot better now, smoother. Um, all the radio is turning better now. So, all right. So I'm gonna fire this back up, and I'm gonna go to this my spectrum analyzer, which is my RTL STL, and um, see if I can uh, figure out. Like I said, I have a frequency counter, so I can check it there too as well. I have an oscilloscope, so I can check the modulation. Um, but, like I said, I'm not a radio. I, I mean, I don't even, it's not my really, my, I mean, they're fun to play with, but it's not, I'm not a radio expert. Alright, got it all back together. So I'm going to do some tests. I want to figure out what those mods do. But, I was thinking, you know, I'm 49 years old right now. So, I was born in 75. So, when this radio came out, I was 2 years old. So, most of the people that are actually were modding these radios are probably very old or dead. So, I'm trying to find the information... You know, there's a couple of really old web pages about the mods for this thing, but I haven't been able to find one that looks exactly like mine, my mods. So, but so I'm just gonna have to go to my on my RTL STL dongle and figure out what this thing is doing. These switches doing like this one, I can't figure out what this one even does. I, I can't see any difference, but I, I can see what these one, this one's doing, the SSB one. So, all right, I think we're gonna remove this mod. Just because, let me show you what it's doing. Okay, so I have a channel 38. That's typically lower sideband. Um, it looks like I'm, it's doing a 10 kilohertz shift. Let's take a look at this. So right now it's in the center position. I still haven't figured out what this one does. Um, all right, so take a look. So this is what you expect on channel 38. Uh, 385, right? 227.385. So I'm dead nuts, all right? Alright, um, now I'm going to flip the switch down, okay, I may have hit the wrong way, okay, so center, it's intermittent too, that's up, 385, center, that's, that's a 10 kilohertz shift though. To the, to the bottom, to 375. So lower sideband would be 4, four kilohertz shift. You know, it's 8 kilohertz total. So back at 385, center position. 
All right, 375, so that can't be used for lower sideband. And that makes more sense about the whole frequency, frequency expansion mod. Um, but I, I'm not going to use it. I mean, that's what I'm, who's going to talk on that channel? Um, all right, so below channel 25, I need to have the switch up for it to modulate. Um, but the interesting thing here is, let's see, channel 8. Okay, I need that to channel off. Okay, so the switch. So if I go below a certain channel, I have to change the switch for it to work. But I remember, I remember before, is it went to the upper side versus the lower side. See, I went to the upper side. All right, so channel eight. Um, okay, I'm broadcasting channel eight. Check this out. No, this is what you expect, right? 27055. Now they put it in the SSB mod. So that's a 10 killer shift upwards um, to 65. So it's going on the, on the lower channels, it goes up 10 kilohertz. On the upper channels, it goes down 10 kilohertz. <laughs> I don't know, man. Was that a way to give yourself give more channels and kind of do like a like a hack channel so you and your buddies could communicate on a hack channel? That's what I'm guessing because back then in the 70s it was probably so busy that you know to you know bypass congestion you could freak you could you know transmit on a different frequency that nobody could hear you. That's my guess. I don't know why you do that. That's what I'm assuming. You know what free band I guess. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, man. That's weird. So, um, all right, I think I'm going to remove those mods. I don't know. Free man, I guess I could keep them on there, but yeah, I don't know why, like I said, I still haven't figured out the difference between up and down. Like, you think you'd be able to shift either way, 10 kilo up, up or down, but no, it's, it seems like the top, all the way up, the top, and all the way at the bottom are the same thing. All right, guys, if you guys have better insight on this radio, let me know with these mods. You saw the picture of the PCB. I don't know, I'm still trying to figure it out, but I think I figured it out, but it's not it's not something it's not gonna be useful for me because I'm not gonna do that. So um yeah, I just really just want to talk on 38 lower sideband. So I don't think the guy that sold me this knew what he was talking about. So um alright, cool.